Hey, this is Cold Turkey, and we're going to be talking about Fallout New Vegas. This is part three. Well, what's going on in part three? Well, if you remember correctly, we are heading to Prim. That is our next goal, but why are we heading to Prim? Well, we got some quests we need to take care of. This dude from the NCR will try to talk to you. Just tell him basically to F off. You know what's going on. You have discovered Prim. Yay! Make sure to steal all this fatty loot when nobody's looking. You don't want to get caught, because that's when bad things happen. No, sir. You want to be stealthy. There's some loot cans over here, and then there's some loot cans up here when you're going into the town. So as I was saying, why are we in Prim? Well, we need to take care of a couple quests. They went that away. I fought the law. Let's make sure we save our game real quick. Don't want anything bad to happen, especially since there are some landmines up here. Any hoozle, there are these little ammunition boxes right here. Make sure to go through and steal these. Borrow, temporarily, whatever you want to call it. So we need to take care of these quests. Now, we're getting into the landmine section. When you walk up to a landmine, basically hit your, I don't know, on my PC it's the E key. I just hit it twice. And that'll let you just disable and pick up the mines. So they go into your inventory, you get experience for it, and you don't get blown up. Which is a pretty big win-win situation if I ever heard it. Go down this sort of passageway here and you're going to want to hook into the Viking Vance Casino. But these escape convicts will try to stop you. It shouldn't be a problem though, since you have the most amazing knife in the game, Chance's Knife. So you smash them to, well, smash. You slice them to pieces. Get some fatty loots while you're at, oh no! You're over it encumbered and cannot run. Blast! I'll have to go through my inventory here and see what's going on. But we can just walk our way into the Vicky and Vance. Besides, it looks cool as you walk anyway. Yeah, you're walking in, you're like, Pfft, I don't care. So these two quests, they went that way, I fought the law. We're going to be focusing on I fought the law. But they went that way as sort of part of the main quest chain in Fallout New Vegas. You're trying to find out who shot you in the head and then take vengeance on them. And when we get into the town, you see that quest that just popped up. Basically what's going on is in order for us to find out the information of where our attackers went, we need to locate Deputy Beagle. So we'll do that later. But for now we're going to talk to this guy, Mr. Nash, Mr. Jonathan Nash. He's got a lot of stuff. Make sure to, you know, throw away, well, not throw away, make sure to sell any excess equipment you might have because you've been looting people along the way. Sell that all to him. You'll make some good money. Maybe play a hand to caravan with him if you feel up to it. And let's see. Oh, and oh, actually, while we're in the town, go in to this building here. This is Mr. Nash's home. And just loot the tar out of it. There's tons of stuff to loot. But we can fast forward through all that because it's just me stealing everything that isn't nailed down. Stealing up a storm. And there's a couple other buildings we can do that to here. First one is going to be the sheriff's office. You can see that the sheriff and his wife were executed. Make sure to go through here and steal anything that they might have. You know, you could bury and respect the dead. There's no need. Then you go to Deputy Beagles. Uh, he's got some really good stuff, too. He's got a refrigerator, got some things on the counter, and then if I'm not mistaken, he has a chest kind of by his bed where he has some juicy loot. There it is. Nope, you missed it. Come on, Cold Turkey. There it is. Yeah, see, I knew I'd find it. And it's an easy lockpick target number. So if you've been putting points in your lockpick, it'll be easy peasy. So the other quest, I fought the law. This is what we're going to be focusing on predominantly through this commentary. So in I fought the law, we're working for the powder gangers in order to complete the quest chain. Then we're going to turn around and mass murder all of the powder gangers. And that's exactly what we basically just told that guy right there. Is they are in fact planning an attack on the powder gangers. And we want to be part of that attack. This is a win-win situation. Because all the powder gangers are going to die. You're going to help kill them and hopefully get a lot of experience. Then on top of that, you're going to be able to loot all their corpses. So you get a lot of gear. And if you're really super duper lucky, the powder gangers will manage to kill multiple NCR troops during the invasion of the prison. Which means you get to loot all the NCR trooper stuff too. So this is, just, this is just a loot heaven. So come charging down in through the fence hole where the bomb blasts are. You've got your knife ready. Dodge the dynamite. No, you ain't going to blow me up. Slice and dice, slice and dice. Chop, chop, chop. Blah. Wait, did he just parry with a dynamite stick? Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Anyway, you're going to be going through here. You're going to be chop, 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 and hack, hack, hack. And there's these guard towers up here. There's a little bit of loot on the top of the guard towers. But there's no need to go to each one. Most of it, it's just like ammunition, maybe like a bottle of purified water. Go through each guard tower if you feel the need to fully loot out the area. And, you know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, you end up killing everybody. I end up leveling up. And you see all the NCR troopers are kind of running into that building. I'm going to put my science up to a 35 because there's a quest coming down the road that I know I'll need a 35 science to complete. And also I'm keeping, oh, getting educated as my level 4 
choice. This is it's an absolute great thing to get. A lot of good stuff with that. Then also, of course, making my speech, keeping that up as I go to, because we're really going to want to talk away out of a lot of situations. Now we are inside the prison. Hannigan, prepare to die. Slice and dice, chop and chop. Oh, he's parrying me. I don't like that. Oh, somebody else kill him. I already got the first attack off anyway. Okay, looks like all hell's breaking loose. Time to just start, just start slicing and dicing, baby. You're like you're like a walking blender. Oh, that guy's got a plasma gun. Die, Eddie. Your game's up. Oh, oof. Ouch. I just got hit. Vilified. Mm -mm. That means they don't like me. I fought the law. Complete. How could I complete the quest if Scrambler's still around? Scrambler, he's like the bodyguard of Eddie. He's this tough guy with brass knuckles or bronze or iron or whatever. Anyway, he basically he thinks he's all cool because he's into fisticuffs and he's got spiky hair and sunglasses. <laughs> whatever, chump. Alright, so you've completed the quest. You can talk to Sergeant Lee and he'll be like, yeah, good job. That's what we cleared him up. Blah, blah, blah. Now you get a loot and loot and loot. Make sure to loot what's on top of the desk. Make sure to loot what is in the desk. Don't forget to loot every single trooper that was killed in the crossfire. And also don't forget to loot the bodies of all the NCR, or not NCR, all the bodies of all of the powder gangers that you just killed. Because basically you just killed all the powder gangers. There's a few left around, a few left alive here and there, but you'll kill them pretty soon too. So now that we've basically committed mass murder, let's make sure to steal, I mean loot, everything that isn't nailed down. There could be some stuff in desks. Oh, there's some doctor bags and some medical supplies where Hannigan was. Hannigan was kind of the doctor of the outfit. And you'll know the stuff that if you go and you talk to the powder gangers before you kill them all. Which is something I definitely recommend. Once again, that's the great thing about Fallout New Vegas. Is the game is so huge and there's so much to do. You can really immerse yourself in the lore and the story. I, I know I like to. But since this is like my third time playing through the game. I just go through and loot everything and kill everybody and call it a day. So go into this room with the key you got. Make sure to loot everything on the desk. Blah, 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 blah. There's the ammo. Yakety yak. Anyway. So get done looting that and then go back into this building, the visitor's office, where you came in from the first time. There will still be a few powder gangers out here. Make sure to slicey slice, choppy chop, death and kill and stab and all that good stuff. There's one guy in here that won't attack you and you don't want to kill him. Well, you could. You might want to talk to him later on for a quest. So leave the guy that doesn't attack you alive if you can. Or if you feel like being a jerk, kill him too. Yeah, it's your call at the end of the day. Going to loot some corpses. So remember, we just completed the quest, I Fought the Law. Now why did we want to do I Fought the Law before we went and completed They Went That Away? Well, the reason is there's this third quest, and it's called Ghost Town Gunfight. And Ghost Town Gunfight is something we actually got before we received the quest, I Fought the Law. But it, the problem with Ghost Town Gunfight is when you kill all of the powder gangers that you fight in the quest, Ghost Town Gunfight, it can plummet your reputation with the powder gangers, which of course means powder gangers don't like you. So I like to go and do that quest. I fought the law first, then we can go and take care of this whole ghost town gunfight thing. Quick update in case you've forgotten. Ghost town gunfight, there's this dude called Ringo. He pissed the powder gangers off. They want him dead. And then on top of that, they want to hurt this town, that Good Springs, that you arrived in. So you're going to defend Good Springs from the powder gangers. And to do that, you are going to kill them all as they come into attack. And there's a leader. Make sure to loot the leader of the Powder Gangers, the guy doing the attack. I forget his name at the moment of me talking, but I'm sure I'll recognize it once I start killing and looting. So make sure to loot him because he has a stealth boy. At least every time I've ever looted him on every playthrough I've ever done. I don't know. Maybe his loot's a little more random than that. But every time I've looted him, he's had a stealth boy. There he is right there. What's his name? What's his name? Oh, Joe Cobb. That's right. I remember now. Anyway, get him cornered. Chop his head off with your knife. Oh, looks like my health is getting low. Got to be careful. This guy's parrying everything I got. Time to whip out the gun. Going to med myself up first real quick. Slutch out to weapons. Let's go with 9mm submachine gun. Sounds like a plan. Target the head. And there goes his head off of his body. Hooray! That's one thing you might want to do at some point in the game is if you're relying on up-close fighting, you know, with like a knife or an axe or something like that and they keep parrying everything you throw at them, just pull out a gun and shoot them point blank. It'll work out a lot better. Okay, Ringo says, hooray, he likes us. All right, let's up our speech. What else? Lock picks a 25, but... Hmm, I don't know. Gosh, decisions, decisions. I don't have too much left. Okay, well, no, I don't know. Barter, guns, leveling up for the win. Oh, yeah. So we do that. What do we got? Yeah, see, he's got a stealth boy again. Ah, boy. Yeah, I told you. Anyway, so we've got that done. 
great. Now we've got I Fought the Law complete. We've got Ghost Town Gunfight complete. So we want to go in and talk to some of these people. Oh, no, we loot. Nah, nothing there. So anyway, by now you're probably overflowing with loot. You got stuff just coming out of your pocket. You're like, oh, man, bottle caps and guns and armor and bullets. I mean, you're, you're like a, a, a walk-in garbage bag full of stuff. So go and sell some of your stuff. And then make sure to chat with Sunny Smiles and Trudy at the bar. Because, hey, it's mission complete. You feel great. You feel awesome. Actually, Trudy might have some more caps. Oh, well, I didn't bother trading with her. Oh, and remember, you get your caravan deck from Ringo. I know I don't didn't talk about that too much, but caravan is a good way to make money. Just like stealing everything that isn't nailed down is a good way to make money. Just like looting every corpse you kill and selling all the stuff you loot is a good way to make money. You know, realistically, there's just a lot of good ways to make money in this game. Also, what you can do is you can gamble. Now, during this whole Ghost, ghost Town gunfight, Victor didn't help, even though you asked him to help. You do a science check target number 25, and you realize that somebody had basically sent him a command to shut down deliberately before the gunfight happened. And this is a clue to, you know, Victor's origins. Now, if you've played through the game already or if you've read anything, you already know about Victor and what he's all about. But maybe you haven't, so I'm not going to give it away. But there's something fishy about that Victor guy, that Victor robot, if you will. So, my kind of town... That's where we need to go next. We need to complete my kind of town before we can complete I went that away because the information on where the people who attacked us is in fact in the possession of one deputy beagle who is a gigantic wuss. Seriously, you want to kill the guy just because he's so annoying. As a matter of fact, I might just do that in this playthrough. Like deputy beagle, you know what? Your days are numbered. Speaking of numbered, this is Cold Turkey. Thanks for watching.